Morning, even afternoon, Tim and Tap Man 2. We got a banger for you today, baby. A lot of you know I love cars and I love trucks. I love supercars, hypercars, and on top of that, I love a souped up, decked out truck. What we got for you here is me checking out the Hennessy Velociraptor. This one is a 600 horsepower engine. Now my Hellcat's 707. But I have been thinking about potentially getting a Raptor, maybe a TRX, and I got some people telling me to look at the Chevy Silverados out there. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to drop a like on this, share it with a friend. If you're not subbed over here to Tim and Tap Man 2, hit the sub button, ring the bell. All right, be sure to tell somebody you love them, okay? I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, it's Tim. Saw your VOD about new trucks. Have you looked at the Ram TRX? I just can't stand the way a TRX looks, bro. I just can't. And I feel bad about that, but I... And maybe the problem is I just haven't seen a modded out TRX. Maybe that's why I don't like them so much because like... You know, a stock Wrangler or a stock Gladiator. I don't like how those look either, but I haven't seen anyone mod out. Does anyone have like a modded out TRX? Because everyone's telling me to buy a TRX over a Ford Raptor, everyone. But I just like the way Raptors look more, bro. Straight up. Someone told me that the TRX is named TRX because when they made it, a T-Rex eats a Raptor. Anyone else hear about that? It's I, I I someone told me that they, it's like supposed to be like a T-Rex and that kind of opened my eyes and maybe I just opened some of your eyes there but I had no idea that that's why they called it a TRX because it's like a T-Rex and it eats raptors I was like wow it's kind of savage look at the Hennessy Raptor there's a Hennessy Raptor Hennessy V8 Raptor versus stock Ford Raptor Hennessy Velociraptor truck to buy over that new Ram TRX. Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, even the stock body on the Raptor just has a certain look to it. It is wider than your standard F-150. That's gonna actually classify it in a totally different segment of truck. You'll see the addition of the LED lighting that they dropped in nicely into the grill. That's required by the Department of Transportation because of that width. You'll clearly see the additional width, not only in the fenders, but also that fender. It just looks meaner. Coming off the side. I, I still think the current generation of the Raptor has such a great look. There is a redesign coming for 2022, but still looking really strong. Now let's see what Hennessy has done to upgrade this. First of all, you'll probably notice it's sitting up higher. This is three inch lift from your standard mm. Raptor, if you could believe that. Three inches increase. Now, starting up front, we took off the stock front bumper over. Let me see if I can guess. These are, I'm gonna guess 37s. And we added this new steel bumper. Look at the massive opening. We have these two quad rigid huge That's pretty LED cool. lights in there. That's gonna illuminate any kind of desert off-roading you're doing at night. Plus what I love, <laughs> is how everything is just can't say that i'm right gonna be out. desert off-roading but see what's going on behind there and i'm gonna have victor kind of showcase that it might be 35s actually in that fox racing suspension so good john hennessy kept that system on the trunk you can see the massive be 35s. control arms that's going to help take that beating or toyos off-roading oh those are toyo rts bro these are what i have on my jeep I think they are 35s because I have 37s on my Jeep. That doesn't look like it. That is going to illuminate the road or the off-road in front of you like none other. Now, as we come across the front grill, I want to showcase something. You'll notice lurking behind there an increased intercooler. So remember, this is a twin turbocharged intercooled engine. So what they did over at Hennessy Performance in Texas, they added a larger... Is this the right thing? This is the Velociraptor, right? The Hennessy Velociraptor. I'm looking at the right thing here, chat. I just want to make sure because you guys are telling me to get this one instead of the TRX. It is. Okay. Intercooler and intercooler piping. That's going to help. Us I see it says Velociraptor. Remember, we're going from. Oh, it says Hennessy on the to top too. There it is. Horsepower. All right. From the factory, you have that metal skid plate protection. Okay, like this is all. Not what, just show me some bumper. interior. We got some work going on here. Okay, so here we go. These custom multi-spoke. Aluminum wheels, love the finish on them. That flat black, you got the Hennessy script. Hennessy makes their own wheels? Bottom, of course, no off-road truck is without its 35-inch off-road tire. Damn it! It was 35, bro. Tires looking really great. Toyo RTs. And I really even like the way that- Side note, if you're thinking about getting uh, a mud tire, Toyo RTs, these drive really well on the road, just to be clear. 
just so you guys know like because it's like it gives you if you want to off-road you can do it but also i like i drove god what was the first one i drove oh mickey thompson's bro i drove mickey thompson's on my first jeep and they were loud and rough the toyo rts are very good that they have the bolt heads there and that nice silver and if you're wondering well joe what's the size of this wheel it's a 20 inch wheel mm -hmm. and then lurking behind there victor because of that extra height is going to be able to show all the great suspension work that active so this is just a random thing i'm going to complain about you can't fit 37s on this can you because you're going to be rubbing here because this gap i don't like this gap if i'm completely honest i like i wish you could put 37s here but i'm pretty sure they're too big bro inch wheel and then lurking behind so that is one thing that actually makes me not want it a little bit just in there victor because of that extra height is going to be able to show all the great suspension work i know it's you, you, you can see that but i'd rather have tire that there technology that fox racing has developed through the baja 500 through the baja 1000 does he show the engine reads the terrain functional side vents mm -hmm. 100 Hennessy performance on the side you're going to have your standard raptor running boards extra nice touch that looks mean black. Uh, that th th this i haven't i don't think i've actually seen this version of the raptor this hennessy modded one but this this it does have a good look here and it's kind of cool that hennessy makes their own wheels love the ruby red one of my favorite colors for a ford raptor i would personally go like a matte black there but we keep working our way back i'm gonna have victor kind of show off that live valve technology you can see real clear with the raptor name the fox name two big names that are just synonymous what with is that performance what, what is a live valve what is this chat any any car car people here what am i looking at that's not like a that's not the shock right it's a suspension it's an air suspension wow i've never seen that huh big okay names that are just synonymous with off-road performance we have a very tasteful Hennessy badge on the side. You got that great fender flare going on. Is this on. guy in Florida? Those are some palm trees the back the rear, there, huh? We're going to have some changes. So this is your standard tailgate from Ford with the Raptor logo and everything. We got Velociraptor. Oh, dude, this guy's in Tampa. <laughs> Just like up front, we got some new custom steel bumpers out back. I like the way they hollowed out the back here. I do like the I look of this. It, though. it would be nice to have some rigid lights for the rear as True. well. And this exhaust catback exhaust gonna give us a little deeper growl but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood all right here's what i'm looking for here this velociraptor Talk all right guys me. we got the hood popped of course you're gonna have the hydraulic hood struts straight from the factory but boy oh boy look what we have we have a custom air box massive opening here wow. to bring that air in and of course do some good filtration because remember this is a truck that they know you're going to take it off road. They know you're all about performance, especially if you're looking at a Henny, a Hennessy performance product. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much horsepower? Obviously, being a Velocir Velociraptor 600, we're looking at 600 horsepower, but that's only half of the story. 622 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 4.1 seconds. Remember, Damn. this truck weighs about five thousand pounds so to be able to do that kind of zero to 60 is phenomenal quarter mile is going to blaze by at 12.8 seconds at 110 miles an hour we have that high flow air induction system that upgraded air to air front mounted intercooler all the intercooler piping the stainless steel catback exhaust of course they left no stone unturned without doing some um, special engine management this is a v6 right this velociraptor <laughs> so uh, how much is this how much is this hennessy velociraptor can you guys look it up maybe i should look it up hang on i'm just curious it is a v8 damn okay so it's a v8 20 inch wheel with 37 inch off-road tires wow you could get 37s on this uh pricing for the velociraptor 600 starts at 85k okay so my guess is a base version of this is like 85k so realistically what you're probably thinking 100 to 120 maybe seem right my hellcat in total with everything was 120 but this 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 it's kind of cool they call it the velociraptor for one for two i do want to see the interior of this oh he starts it up i want to hear that and the great news is you do have a warranty with all this great work but if you're ready i'm ready let's hear what this velociraptor wait, wait wait you get a warranty even if it's through this company hennessy that's kind of huge actually a lot of companies they'll mod stuff out but it'll void the warranty 
Velociraptor sounds like. Yo, that's a good sound. All right, guys. We're that, that that sound that sounds better than my Jeep, straight up. So this is a V6. This is not a V8, correct? You guys are really... I'm getting mixed signals here. Is it a V6 or a V8? It sounds like a V6. It doesn't sound like a V8. It is V6. Okay, you guys are really confusing me. So, I mean, you're basically paying... So it's like a hundred grand probably for like a V6. Twin, it's twin turbo though, right? Twin turbo V6, right? hear the startup one more time the actual startup hang on chat sorry and the great news is you do have a warranty with all the gosh dang it the i'm ready let's hear what this velociraptor sounds like it's got a good sound it's got a really good sound for a v all right guys we're in the hennessy velociraptor i know you're at that point like joe I've been holding out for a TRX. I know there's gonna be markup on it. I know the truck, the way I have it optioned is gonna cost me almost $100,000. How much is this Velociraptor? Well, you're looking at a price, the way that it's optioned, $118,000. That's literally, I mean, my Hellcat was literally 120 for everything. And I don't have a warranty because I had to avoid it. Like with Let all the shit I put on it, I, Jeep doesn't cover it, you know. Let's see what you get for the money. Now on the interior, it's mostly going to be stock Ford Raptor affair. Now the good news is that's some really good interior. I love the soft touch. You got the stitch work. I would like to see the carbon fiber package on this one though. There's no carbon fiber package. I like how I, I like this guy. You do have all your connectivity, home power source, 12 volt, that eight inch infotainment system. You want cameras? Of course, you're going to have cameras looking out the front. 360 the whole shabam just like on your regular raptor it's got the bno sound system his name's you have joe your knob to go from too high all the way to four low ac controls ventilated seats and heated seats nice cubby with two us one thing that i will say that i'm really interested in a in a raptor for is the space that you get in a raptor or a ford right like an f-150 versus like especially my my jeeps you just get you get way more space this is all just interior stuff at this point i don't know if... and you do have all your auxiliary switches so if you want to put a winch extra lighting you have that capability coming over though the business end and then we're hitting the road in our velociraptor all right guys business time you got your ford performance badge of course you got your power seat controls easy to get to a horn button but you got your scoping let's see if victor could get in here seat i'm not showing you the bed you can see that in any of my other reviews and if you want to know about storage you can literally put two footballs and Twinkies in that center console. But why don't we go ahead? If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's 600. I don't know if you heard, but when we were doing that engine rev, this also does have a custom blow off valve as well in that intercooler system. Is a blow off valve what I'm hearing when it's almost like kicking back? Is that a blow off valve? I think that's the sound that I want on all my cars. I, how do you get that? Is that an exhaust thing? Is that through the exhaust? I have no idea. No, that's the whistle. Uh oh, oh yeah, gotta learn, Chef. It's a turbo, okay. System, but boy, oh boy, what do you mean? Veloster. <laughs> the Raptor interior, you're gonna love this Velociraptor interior as well because it's pretty much the same besides seeing Hennessy's name across the windshield and the Hennessy stitch work that he did himself on the headrest. Everything else is still great raptor ding dongs three to be honest that's why i don't show them a lot of love but hey if you love them to each their own right i want to hear it but the seats are comfy on throttle is all about all right, guys let's do a little bit of on throttle on throttle here we go the 10 speed drops down wow <laughs> wow you are gonna notice the difference boy oh boy are you gonna notice the your growl at sounds good on the inside too this thing i'm telling you is insanity the amount of power it gets the power down so i i i've so 
this company Hennessy, bro, is this company Hennessy like you guys know how like Starwood Motors is like a separate company that does mods. Is this company Hennessy? It's see, th he said that it has a warranty. Are they with Ford? Okay, you got half of you are saying yes, half of you are saying no. You're really confusing me. Hennessy is Ford. They're not with Ford. Guys, come on. Th they're like partners. Oh, it's warranted through Hennessy. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that, I mean, that. That car is kind of cool, that truck. I mean, I, I haven't seen that one, I don't think. I know Hennessy, don't they do six by six? Because I'm pretty sure Post Malone, doesn't Post have a six by six Velociraptor? I'm 90% sure he does. I love the sound of that truck. To be honest, I gotta look more into this. Tim Hennessy is an alcohol. I mean, here's the reality, right? Chat, at this point, do you buy a Hennessy Velociraptor, which is a twin turbo V6, or do you wait for whatever this Raptor R is going to be? Because they're saying it's going to be a V8. I don't want to, I don't want, if I'm spending a hundred grand on like a truck, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't want a twin turbo V6. I'd rather have a V8. I think at that point you just wait, right?